Hello and welcome to the 2024 Formula One Singapore Grand Prix for Real Racing 3. I'm choosing the Ferrari this time, I've already got the Red Bull. And first thing I'm going to do is apply all the upgrades I need to finish this entire event. Don't start without this. Don't start without 1.75 million M dollars and 435 gold. It's not the final cost, but you need that to buy these upgrades of all fives to get going. At the end of this event, after you get the rewards, it'll cost you a total of 1.55 million M dollars, 365 gold, and you'll also get a quarter million M dollars in earnings. So you can drop that number some more. But that's what you need to finish this event. Every single event, people say, I didn't know I needed that much. I don't have enough gold, what do I do now? You watch this video so you know what you need to have before you even start the event. So that's a really good idea. Also, there are a couple of surprises here. Nothing too crazy. A wonderful thing about getting all those upgrades right off the start is you don't have to adjust your driving of this car as you add more and more upgrades. Now, this is going to get a bit nasty. I did not re-familiarize myself with this track. I haven't been on this track for, I don't know, at least a year, maybe even two. So there's, yeah, I'm going to eat some walls here, guys but nothing too, too horrible. Now, some people, are, I, I get it, they're a little bent out of shape because this is the older circuit, and they're saying, when do we get the updated one? I don't know. They don't tell me those kinds of things. This is what we've got to work with. I am kind of surprised, because it's got to be licensed content, and obviously Formula One's okay with this, or we wouldn't be seeing this. So the difference is coming up here. This is getting to the area where there's a difference. This is the older circuit where there's a total of 23 corners, whereas the 2024 layout's actually 19 corners. So some of, the, some of this section here just doesn't isn't there in the current street circuit. Again, it's a street circuit. It's not like it's there all the time. It's not like it's it's not like uh, Silverstone where it's there. I mean, they have different variants, but it's always there. Whereas this is not always here. This is blocking off streets. So, yeah, maybe that's why it's not as big of a deal for them having an older circuit here. I don't mind it because I know this circuit. So this is, this is actually a little more technical than the current circuit. But again, I mean, if you're, if you're used to it, you're not going to mind this. It's not bad. And I, I do understand where people are coming from, but I mean, this is what we've got. I'm just glad we've got it. Uh, like, like, you know, we're going to have at least more than like four circuits like we've seen for a while. That does make me happy. So let's just be happy that we got four, more than four circuits, guys. And so I don't know how many Grand Prix events we're going to see this year. Uh, they don't tell me that either. So we've got two so far, and we know there's another update around the corner. So we'll see what that's got, what they've got in store for us there, whether there's more Formula One content or if they're taking a break. Like we got the one uh, WRC rally car. They told us there's going to be more rally cars, and then we haven't seen any more. So, but they did give, they made that official announcement. So at some point we're supposed to see more. I guess we just have to wait. Usually when they do a Formula One uh, update, like every update is going to have Grand Prix until they're done the season. That's how it's been since 2019. So that's what I'm expecting, but I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'll have my update video out as soon as I'm allowed to. And can't say anything else about that for now. There's a, I'd never really noticed that Ferris wheel before. I don't remember this circuit being, it just looks a little bit different to me lighting wise. Maybe it's not. It's just something about it looks a little bit different to me. Again, I haven't been on this track for a while. I do like this track. Uh, some of the walls will really bother me. I, I found I was always very annoyed um, at the corner after Anderson Bridge. Oh, it's just it's such a sharp blind corner. So right here, right this corner, right here, that is a hard corner to take to really master. You've got to develop some muscle memory. This is the downside of chase view, like the view I use. You just can't, oh, eat the corner. You can't see around some of these corners as well, but it's what I'm used to. So, whoa. So I keep using it because it's what I'm used to. I have started using some other views once in a while but I'm not competitive in those other views. Now, those five guys are gonna go by very quick. I noticed taking that second last corner there is a lot easier in these cars versus the other the cars I'm used to. 
I'm used to I'm used to having to really take it easy on that last corner that you'd have to get it just right to take it full throttle. In this car with these upgrades, I'm finding it actually quite easy. And this car is gonna get more grippy with more upgrades. So I'm finding taking the last corner, I can blast it hardcore, just boom, and zip through this really fast. Again, beautiful thing about buying all the upgrades is one, you're, you get used to the car at the circuit, you're not relearning for as you add upgrades. Two, you're going to get better earnings because you're going to place higher. Now, people always ask, did you do any bot slowing, any bot maintenance? No. Oh, that was horrible. That's a dead stop almost in an average speed race. I think that was a dead stop. Yikes. No, I didn't do any bot slowing with required PR events. I want them to get as difficult as possible. I want it to be very difficult. So I ran this fast. I tried to win every single race. I tried to do as good as I could do. I even restarted some races because I wasn't happy with how I was doing. Others, I kind of let it go because it's like, ah, I don't want to, I don't want to go too crazy. But I want to win. Oh, clip the wall. Anderson Bridge. I mean, I like it. It's beautiful. In fact, if you do, um, if you watch a replay and you get some blimp shots, oh, eating that wall. Uh, some of the blimp shots are, it's, it's amazing how much of Singapore is included in this circuit. It's quite beautiful, actually. I was going to include some footage, but I uh, didn't end up collecting it. And obviously, I can't get it now. Let's just eat every single wall. Yeah, why not? I mean, I just, might as well. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to be driving sloppy. That I meant to do. I'm just kind of frustrated in this lap, but I mean, I'm going to do better. Okay, so that's it for stage one. Let's see those rewards and then get on to stage two. Okay, so get up to position eight and tailgate for 45 seconds. Now remember, tailgating is not the same thing as slipstreaming. You can tailgate without slipstreaming. So, meaning you can be beside the car, you don't have to be in his slipstream. Now he might as well be in his slipstream. Oh, come on. I'm finding that something's different about that. I mean, it's gotta be the car because the circuit hasn't changed. Remember, they're gonna drive in formation on an outlap, which means this guy will stay to the right. Oh, I mean, I should have gone to that side of him. Should have restarted this race. Oh well. So then he's gonna be left. The next guy will be right. And then the next guy's left. But after the start finish line, now they're going to drive in the race line, not in formation. So anytime you have an outlap, you've got to remember that they're gonna be driving. Like left, right, left, right, very religiously. So you can definitely take that and use that to your advantage. Now, this guy, Magnuson, I realized that uh, it said I have to catch to up to eighth place. And I, went, I started following him and then I'm, wait a second, he's, he's ninth place. No, I'm ninth place. He's eighth place. Come on, man. So I gotta pay, pay closer attention. And he is driving so drastically slow that by the time I'm done with him, I'm not going to be able to get very much. 45 seconds behind this Yahoo. It's not Magnuson's fault. It's that he's a ninth place bot and that's it. So, difference between tailgating and slipstreaming, tailgating counts even if you're in a dead stop. Tailgating is just be within X distance from the car in front of you. Oh, it just ends, okay. Oh, and it gave me first place. Well, isn't that nice of them? I wasn't expecting that. I thought it would have given me ninth place. I guess they decided I accomplished their goal, so I get first place. Well, thank you very much. Boy, some of these outlaps are pretty long. Like, this is like maybe half... Well, I feel like that's only... That's a little past the halfway point. Yeah, okay, it is. This section is tricky. Uh, so watch. He's going to stay to the right. I have lots of room to get around him. Where's the next car going to be? Yes, the next car is going to be to the left. Let's just get all sloppy agape here. Okay, and he hit the brakes because I was going to get the race line. When bots are formation driving, they will be... They're going to drive really bad. They're going to hit the brakes a lot. Oh, eating that wall a little bit. This corner coming up, you can really blast this corner. Like once you get it. A little bit of slipstreaming. Ah, I was going to get a push. I decided not to. Two laps? Really? Do I need two laps to get this done? Oops, well, if I keep doing stuff like that, that technically was off track. 
there's a lot of this circuit that is actually off track. Most street circuits you, you don't see a lot, but I like that they're there that it is authentic. Meaning, if you go in some of these areas, you will be off track and you will fail. So I do like that they don't have it. You know that it's right to the walls all the time. There's a bit of drive off, uh, which is nice. I mean, I'm sure that's nice in real life that you don't. Uh, you're not driving so close to the walls. I mean, they do at Marina Bay, they're clipping walls in real life as well. Which is the one frustrating frustrating thing about time trials is in real life, they do clip walls. You're not disqualified for clipping a wall. If you hit a wall very hard at all, it's gonna be really bad for your car, but you don't get disqualified. Kinda of drives me crazy that, and when you do time trials in street circuits, you know, you touch a wall much at all, you're disqualified. But they had to do that because people maybe including me would use wall riding techniques and it, it would just be pretty crazy like at um, New York New York was it New York or is that Hong Kong no it's Hong Kong Hong Kong I remember a time trial competition in Hong Kong you had to successfully do three wall rides if you wanted to have a top time and some people just refused they just said I'm not doing this if you hit a wall really hard, you would get disqualified. In the regular part of the game, in regular time trials, you can still use this trick. Uh, the trick is, you slightly tap a wall with your front end, and then slam your back end into it, and you can grind along a wall like Ross Chastain did in uh, NASCAR a couple of years back there at Martinsville. And you can just, just grind the whole wall. It's, it's pretty crazy, actually. So, yes, at Hong Kong, there were three seconds sections to do wall rides. And I remember in the old days, we'd even wall ride um, short version of Hockenheim Ring. Um, oh, there'd be all sorts of places you do wall rides. Mount Panorama, there'd be uh, two, two wall rides you could do at Mount Panorama. There's a third one, but it's technically off track, so you would get disqualified if you used it during your time trial. So I get it. They have, that's why they made walls hypersensitive in weekly time trial tournaments and uh, special time trial tournaments because yahoos like me would do it but you end up having to because one person figures it out and then another person goes well why is that guy a second faster oh well then i better do what he's doing and so on and so on and so on wow this is a long out lap like i'm starting definitely like half a lap back and my timer hasn't even started yet oh my goodness now the nice thing about that, you probably saw this in the last race, not that difficult to win. Woo! So I'm getting a huge amount of overtakes because all these guys are formation driving. So where's he gonna be? Yep, you're right, he's gonna stay to the right. Where's this guy gonna be? He's gonna be left and he'll get on the brakes to give this to me. Isn't that nice of him? Thank you so much. So I'm already in 11th place before I've really started the goals. Oh boy, that wasn't good really out of the uh kind of got thrown off by that guy in the braking zone so that's not proper well you can go off track but then you've got to give if you if you made an overtake by taking the off track cut you have to give it back that's that's the rules so it's not that you can't go off track in formula one you can't gain an advantage i am curious what happens then i mean obviously people can't exploit that like why not why not just shoot through some of these chicanes sometimes but obviously if uh it has to look it would have to look like you didn't really have a choice like something was wrong um maybe there was a bunch of a, a crash or something even then if there's a crash and you, you you go off track and you get an advantage you do need to give it back so anyway i'm not doing that <laughs> if i get an advantage because I was off track, I'm not going to give it back. But you're going to notice here, I'm not purposely going to go off track at all during this entire video. It will happen, I'm gonna end up off track, it won't be on purpose. And when I do it, it'll, it'll be detrimental. If I want to take an off track cut, I will make sure it's a benefit to me, which means I've got to plan it. So if I wanted to cut corner one, I'd be breaking early so I could cut that. Now that, oh, that was not a good thing. I didn't mean to go off track there for corner two. So that's definitely bad. And this we can take so far. Not quite getting that throttle point correct yet. My race line, I gotta, like I said, I didn't do training. 
I just hopped in my car and let's get going. Because these aren't hard events. There we go. I'm starting to clean up my braking points a bit. I don't mean to be using that off track section there. So I'm going to start cleaning. You're going to notice this will get cleaner and cleaner. Oh, just a slight tap that time. But that would most likely hurt your wheel alignment. Like, uh, could even damage the steering component. Because I believe the suspension's all carbon fiber on these cars, I believe. So that's, uh, I mean, carbon fiber, it's got its strengths and its weaknesses. So you do have to be careful. Carbon fiber is interesting. The, the, the downside of the big downside of carbon fiber is that you don't know when it's failing. So you don't see the micro fractures that are happening underneath the surface. You just know when it's failed. So I'm sure they have parts they replace on a very regular basis because they can't afford to take that risk. So they've just got to replace it. So uh, I've actually got a, uh, I've got a carbon fiber full suspension mountain bike. I do like, uh, I haven't done much mountain biking this year, but uh, I do like doing some mountain biking, trail riding. So uh, in case you're wondering, it's a YT Jeffsy. So it's a little bit older. I'm still a little bit old school. So it's got 27.5 wheels on it, not 29er. Uh, Cause I like a nimble bike that you can jump around. I really shouldn't be jumping a bike anymore though. So I really should have gotten a 29er. And if I get another one, it will be a 29er. But uh, oh well, it's 27.5. Uh, fairly light bike for uh, full suspension. I do like that uh, if I do get airborne, the suspension helps to absorb stuff. And then I can also pretty well, I can almost totally lock up that suspension. I can make it very stiff when I just want a more faster ride. I don't want to lose a lot of my inertia to pedal bob and this might not matter to people who know nothing about cycling and that's fine just uh, some crossover actually I mean I'm saying that because a lot of sometimes guys uh, in real life like Formula One racers uh, NASCAR drivers guys like that a lot of them do have other sports they do for training because I mean these guys uh, they stay in ridiculously good shape I mean if the physical torture these guys go through in their racing is, is quite something the amount of weight they can lose in a race uh, it's incredible I watched a show once about um, the McLaren pit crew for Formula One, and every single thing those guys eat is determined by McLaren, at least during a training season. So, uh, I mean, it may make sense. I mean, you're getting, that's like a dream job, can you imagine? <laughs> anyway, not much, I mean, this hasn't been difficult, so I've kind of been talking about other stuff here. Night Circuit's kind of fun in Singapore. And yeah, I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm finishing no trouble at all, finishing very fast. Very easy to take this full throttle. That I think I would have, that would have counted as off track, I think. Pretty sure, I mean, you let me know. And uh, that takes us to the end of stage two. We should start seeing interesting things here at stage three. So here we go, stage three. And the time starts shrinking and the, the goals start increasing. So, boy, those tires are low. Gosh. Okay, so one interesting thing I noticed with this particular race, if you drive it normal, like I did this once driving very nicely, no sliding around at all, my tires were not heat, didn't have enough heat in them by the time I reached corner nine, so I failed. Okay, so how do you get extra heat in your tires? Skid while staying on track, okay? Don't go off track. So. So doing a big skid like this, and it build up some extra heat on my tires. And you couldn't really see it there, but just watch at the rate that it's gaining. And if I do a slide, oh, you don't want to be off track. Oh, if you go off track, you're going to lose some heat. There we go, building up lots of heat. I sometimes forget my corner numbers here. Is this five already? I think so. I think that's five. If you don't have enough heat in your tires by corner nine, it's over. You fail and I found that out so I had my first time through I had 71% on my tires at corner 9 and I fail okay now I know for sure this is corner 8 because this is the next corner that I and this is the corner that it failed me at this time I have 88% of my tires and it let me go past it but if you drive perfectly normally uh, for me I only had 71% of my tires now maybe I went off track without knowing it by the time you get like around 80% in your tires you can drive it pretty aggressively without having to worry about it. This corner keeps giving me trouble. I mean, I've got a way I used to take it and it's just not, it's just not working for me. 
something about this 2024 car is a little bit different. So, based on then what then the cars I'm used to driving here. One thing I did notice with the uh, 2023 car and the 2024 car, the low speed grip isn't quite as good. The high speed grip is better, but the low speed grip seems to be a bit less. Uh, well, at least off track it definitely is, but I think also on track I noticed it. That low speed grip is just is lower in these cars. The high speed grip is higher. So that's interesting that they did that. They made that change to the car. They didn't just increase the grip across the board. It's a, it's different. And I like that. Okay, let's let's go blasting. So again, you know, the next guy is definitely going to stay right. Watch this. See? He's going to stay right. The next guy is definitely going to be left. See that? And then the next guy is definitely going to be right. Whoa! He was kind of in the shadows there, and he's definitely going to be left. So once you get that in your head, you can really take advantage of it. Now I'm starting to get pretty fast, as you can see. Oh, took that way too wide. Just as I say that, I make a mistake. Please forgive me. Blast around you. I, it is kind of a fun track. It's pretty wide, so it's pretty forgiving. Hard to see those braking markers, I find, but I'm getting used to it. The, the graphics change they made a few years ago, I still... I don't like it. I preferred it the way it was. I mean, I, I, I kind of call this change scorched earth because a whole lot of tracks, oh my, that was nasty. A whole lot of tracks looked like there was no rain for a year and all the grass is dead. We used to have a much greener game, but I just, I don't know. I complained about it several times and they just said that's just how it is from now on. So this made it so a lot of braking markers suck. They just suck. A whole lot of braking markers that I used to use and I can't use them anymore. I've had to adapt to it. Sometimes I just count. It's like, oh, okay, well, this is unreadable sign number three. So I noticed uh, that it's just sign number three. Instead of saying it's 50 or 100, it's just like, okay, well, that's the third blur. <laughs> and, or it's blacked out. But anyway, that's the way it is. We adjust, we move on. There's gonna be so many times I can bang my head against the wall before I stop doing that. Okay, focusing. Set the fastest lap without going off track. I did notice there's not a lot of off track. Like it's not an instant failure, but they definitely aggressively decrease the amount of off track you would get. Okay, where's this guy gonna be? That's right, he's gonna stay left. This next guy's gonna stay right. Next guy's gonna be left. Oh, I wish I could have hit him a little bit earlier. Ricardo, where are you gonna hit the brakes for me, buddy? Yeah, you did. Nice. Stroll. Now it's going to be for now it's going to be race line driving. So you always got to remember that formation, uh, the outlap. Oh, I did it again. I got to change my breaking point for that corner. That's uh, a couple of times I've done that. This I'm actually getting less of a breaking point there. I'm noticing that I can take that corner faster than what I'm used to. And this corner, I'm noticing I can take pretty fast. This one I've not adjusted to yet. Oh, uh, sorry, Russell. Didn't mean to get dirty in there. Nice, nice, like there's lots of overtaking spots at uh, Marina Bay. That's one thing I really like about it. There's a lot of areas you can take. Okay, Hamilton at the bridge. Hamilton at the bridge, come on, no. I believe this is corner 13. And oh, come on, ha Hamilton's fighting me for it. Come on, man, I had you. You should have pulled over for me. Oh well. And then the technical back section. Oh, tagging walls again. This area benefits from early braking. Early braking and then early throttle. Ah, oh, I didn't take that right. Dang it. Oh, well. I forgive me. I hope you can too. More sloppy agape driving. Okay. So, I'm not definitely not going to get first place. Get third, maybe. Come on. Yeah, got third. All I need was the fastest lap, and I definitely first by a long shot okay so that's good finish each lap in 135 not a problem at all nothing to sweat oh good we're gonna start to see when i'm abusing off track because we've got a tenth of a second okay that was off track interesting so this is much more accurate than uh interlagos they did Ooh. oh they didn't go off track interlagos they kind of messed up with some of the off track i've noticed 
There's areas that are not supposed to be on track, and they are. Yeah, that was horrible. So obviously, I'm obviously I'm going to meet my time requirement, or you wouldn't be seeing this. I don't waste your time with uh, failed stages. Sometimes people want to see them, but I don't know. It just seems like silly to include all that. Still having trouble with that corner. Getting better. Uh, heading to Anderson Bridge, I'm noticing early braking is very beneficial. Like braking quite far back here. I've probably backed up my braking point. I don't know, three, four car lengths. This is feeling pretty good in this car. I had a lot more trouble with that in, I don't know when the last time we were here. Was it 2022 or was it even back in 2021? Might have been 2021. Anyway, we're here now. And this section I'm doing better at. Um, this gets, you know, some blind corners. This you can, I think with a, a very intentional race line, you should be able to full throttle that corner. And this is very easy to full throttle. So fully upgraded, I'm very curious what, what this will be like. Okay, so for that whole lap, the only time I was off track was that first corner. Uh, sorry, second last corner. Oh, well, that's horrible. Well, there's eight tenths of a second I just wasted. Beautiful. Not. Magnuson, he's way up there. Boy, am I running fast compared to the competition, even with all these mistakes. There, oh, I can actually make up the numbers on some of those signs. Hey, I kept it on track there. See, I told you I started to get it. That's starting to feel better. This, I should be braking earlier than I am. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I need to brake earlier, start that turn earlier. I need to use the inside of that corner better. I'm not using it up very much. And then I'm on the brakes right as I'm turning to the right. Ooh, that's pretty nice. This corner still, it just has me feel like I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm using my old braking point, but then, oh, keep eating that wall. I mean, I'm gonna, I'll get it, I'll get it, don't you worry, I'll get it, but I just feel a little bit amateurish right now. Oh, and that wall, beautiful job, man. Not really. This is getting a little bit better, though. So I was really only off track for another tenth somewhere. I didn't notice where I did that. Huh, that was pretty sloppy. Oh, well. Okay, moving on, stage three is complete. There's those rewards we see for stage three. Remember, VP points are added automatically. So the VP points you get at the very end of the event are just the stage five VP points. You have already received stage one, two, three, four VP points by the time you get to stage five. A handful of people, every single video, will say, how come I didn't get all my VP points? You did, they were automatically added you just have to go to the area where you collect your VP rewards, and you can get those. Oh, Bottas, Valtteri. Oh, that was beautiful. Not. My goodness. That was, oh, interesting. He really, oh, he's formation driving because it's so early. Forgot about that. Really couldn't figure out why he was hitting the brakes so much, but they're funny with their formation driving. Like, look at that. So this guy's going to be right, which means I can set up this. Oh, he's in the wrong spot for this. Oh, well. So the next guy's going to be left. Where am I going to encounter him? Ooh, that's a bad place to encounter him. That was, oh, he seemed to be, I must have had that wrong. Did I already do my outlap? Guys, I'm confused. Hey, I took that, I took section two and three a lot better. Oh, gotta really be careful there. I was getting, I, I hit myself on, I almost gave myself the pit maneuver. Right rear contact taking, heading into our right hand corner is not a good idea. Magnuson, I'm encountering you at the worst possible spot, but I can get a nice overtake. Very good. Oh, that was pretty good actually. Wonder if I can get how much room I can get in lap, the final lap here. How much, uh, how much progress I can make. Oh, that really affected that corner. Nuts. Okay, Ricardo, I would like to be getting you pretty quick here. And that was better, but it just didn't feel as fast. I don't know. I'm having trouble getting the feel of that corner. That was nice. That was a nice section. I took that very well. 
Ricardo, you're way over here. I'd like to get under you. Good, let's set off that uh, start finish line run. Can I get 10 more cars in this lap? Not likely. I guess it all depends how close they are. Okay, now I'm breaking earlier. That's starting to feel better. That's definitely starting to feel better. Breaking earlier there. Oh yeah, blasted that one nicely. Thank you for the toe and the push. Slingshot around him. This corner, I've always liked this corner. And I'm it's not hard to avoid the run out there, so that's good. Oh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But I'm doing better. I'm doing better at all the corners. So that feels good. There's no way I'm getting another seven cars before the yeah, that was off track. I'm not getting seven cars before the end of this lap. Oh boy, I'm all over the place now. Threw my equilibrium off. Anderson Bridge, corner of what, 13, I believe. Right here. Sharpest corner of the entire lap, I believe. Could be wrong on that, but... And it's interesting how they don't use up the left much. I find that very interesting. They don't really use up that... Oh, I was a little bit stepping out there. Obviously, I won't get the lead. I'll definitely get Hamilton. Maybe one more after Hamilton. Oh, that was off track, I would think. There's one more. I don't know if I'm going to get him. No, he's too far away. Yeah, he's too far away. Well, that's not bad. I just had to get to, to 15th spot, and I went way past that. Okay. Multiple requirements here. Finishing at least 10th. Okay, engine temperature? Don't worry about it. I gave this a couple of tests. My first time trying this, I was being really careful during this whole outlap. And then I decided, wait a second, outlap. Outlap is where I can make all my gains because they're driving so horrible. So I need to blast my outlap and then save engine temperature later if I, if I need to. You don't need to, which is what you're gonna see here. You can just blast this whole race, just go for it. So that's nice to know that we can just go for it the whole race. Oh, I, I was not paying attention to my very own rule. Oh, that's horrible. That was a damaging hit. That definitely slowed me down. And that hurt my engine temp. Oh man, I should have almost started over when I did that. Oh well, let's just go. Okay, starting this lap in 14th place. I've got two laps and I win. I don't know. It's not very likely. Breaking very early now, if you notice that. And that really is working for me. Now I'd love to get to your left, but I can't. So it's gonna really throw off that corner. I don't like, but Ricardo will not be in the way of this corner, I don't believe. No, he will not be. Love to get you before the next corner, Ricardo. I'm not gonna get there though. I take the outside line on you. Yes, I can. Beautiful. Taking that better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Anderson Bridge. Oh, I'll get you before Anderson Bridge. Awesome. I do like getting overtakes at Anderson Bridge. I don't know why. It's so narrow. Maybe that's why. It just feels really cool to overtake someone there. Okay, Stroll, getting you at this. Used to be one of my favorite corners, and I just keep having so much trouble here. Like there, too. Man, but see, look at this. So they don't drive in that outside lane. So one, you can take the corner crazy fast. Two, they're not in the lane you end up in. Very strange to me. That's programming from the first time we had this circuit. So they haven't changed that either, which is good. We don't want them to. Okay, starting this lap in eighth place. Can I get seven cars in the lap? Like I could, but will I? Now we know I made mistakes. My engine temperature's a, temp is in the yellow. Come on, let's blast this. Let's go. Oh, that was good. That was really good. Hamilton, do I get an outside overtake here? Let's go for it. Nice. Thank you, Hamilton. You pulled over for me. Five more to go. Because that's, I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to win? I always want to win, right? Oh, that was sloppy. Rather than going off track, I nailed the brakes. The outside overtake on you. Oh, hitting the walls. Oh, this is really going to affect this. Oh, come on. I almost wish I started this race over. Oh, man. It's strange how it throws you off. You hit a couple of walls and it just feels like there's magnets in your wheels and you're hitting everything. I'd be shocked if I win this race. Completely shocked. 
three cars to go and it's just a disaster. Okay, bear in mind, I really ruined my engine temperature. Like, I made it way worse than it would have been because I slowed down, I was on the throttle more, getting loose while I was on the throttle. So I've really made this worse than what it was going to be. Third place, there's no way I'm gonna win this. I'm not even gonna get second. Ah. Oh, oh, I got second. Well, could I have won that? Eh, four second deficit, doubt it. I mean, not full four seconds, but you know, kind of. Okay. Well. Boy, starting very far back again. Really far back. Like, two thirds into a lap back. No, one third into a lap. Gosh. I'm not going to worry about my slip streaming for a while. I think. Oh, what? Was it position? Did it say slip stream off position eight? Ah. I'm just going to blast forward. I, I, um, I'm going to blast forward. Going to get as much as I can. Look at this formation driving. That's where you get your, your maximum gains on these guys. It's all their silly formation driving. Like, look at that. He's nailing the brakes for me. Yeah, that was left. Next guy should be right. Can I really... Oh, this isn't great. I, uh, ah, let's just drift that whole corner. Uh, that was not good. Day 11 positions in two laps. Possible. I do have to get slipstreaming in though. And 3,000 fictitious meters. Sorry, 2,743. 3,000 yards. Let's not get tangled up, man. Oh, I already got a good chunk of Roman cubits in. Gotta get your Roman cubits in where you can. Anderson Bridge coming up. It's interesting to watch the skyline. There's so much detail here. It's very interesting. So, something to think about when you're playing this game. Uh, why are these lap times so much quicker than real life? I think some of the reasons is that I think we start with a car that's almost like a stock car. Like what they would be having. And then we upgrade it beyond them. Another thing to consider is that we do not have to worry about any of the consequences of driver injury, driver death, vehicle damage, totaling a vehicle. So a lot of the times in a time trial, we're driving this these cars on the edge of destruction every single lap. No one would ever do that in real life. They're not going to risk that much every single corner. They just can't. They, they, they can't afford the consequences, so they don't. I mean, there's the odd corner they're gonna push but not corners that mean, okay, if I mess this up, I'm hitting the wall at 300 kilometers an hour. No, you can't do that. So we're driving these cars more aggressively than they would in real life because there are no consequences for us. All right. I did not like where I was hitting him. I thought, you know, I better get in some... Uh... That was weird. It wasn't registering. Did you see that? I was slip streaming and it wouldn't register. I had to actually tap him. Very interesting. Huh. Now maybe I just wasn't quite lined up properly. Now, now one thing to bear in mind, if you're not going fast enough, slip streaming won't kick in. Like, I don't know, 125, something like that is when it kicks in. I've never really looked to see exactly what it is. I was trying to figure that out the other day and it was actually lower than I thought. It's often hard to see because when you're going really slow, it's below you. So driver view or something like that would be beneficial to figure that out. Or bonnet view, something like that. I might get fourth place. Can I get fourth place? Oh, no, I didn't. I decided to take it. I, it, I felt like I was going to wreck Norris, and so I just didn't. Top 10. Okay. 225 without damage. 25. Oh, okay, that clock's going to start right away. Yeah. Because you can't do two laps in 225. So our outlap and then... Okay, where's he going to be? Okay. He's driving like the way you drive on an outlap. Formation driving. 
very good. Okay, I, I need to I need to take this corner probably. But come on, let's go. Okay, that's the first time that that felt good. That felt pretty good. All right, I, I'm happy with that, and I'm not happy with that. But we're not starting over. We're just gonna go. I don't think winning is an option here. I don't have to win, but I, I'd be very surprised. You never know. Sometimes the cars get stacked up. I'm going to start this lap in 10th place. Minute 37 to go. That's lots of time. Okay, let's take... Oh! That's all sort of nasty. Huh. Outside? No, inside. That's all sorts of nasty. Completely blew that corner. We're not going to win this race. No way. Yay! Blank, 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 blank. 50. Breaking a little before that 50. Not much, though. There was a certain certain year of car I'd break at the 50. But I find this one, I'm breaking a little bit earlier and then getting on the throttle earlier. And that's really helping me to get some more speed out of that corner. This corner is so much fun. Now that I feel better at it, I haven't been struggling too much with that corner. This was the corner I've been struggling with. Let's see if I can do this properly. Oh, nope. Let's just have a huge chunk of wall. Because I'm getting hungry. I have to eat some more of that concrete, baby. Or... Yes, it'd be a lot of concrete. And safer barriers here and there. Okay, Russell. I'm like nowhere near winning this race. Can I get sixth? No, I will not be getting sixth place. Well, too bad. Oh, well. You get what you get. Okay, well, that wraps up stage four, does it not? Yes, it does. Singapore Airlines, Singapore Grand Prix. Okay, stage five. Staying alive. Bringing this thing to a close. Okay, well, obviously degrading tires. With quite a bit to go. So we need to get... Yeah, I didn't hit that too bad. We need to make a lot of progress here really quickly. Because these tires are going to fall off very fast. You definitely want to not go off track. Because they're going to fall off quicker when you go off track. Two tires off track is not going to matter. Oh, I should have been paying attention. That's not the right way to take that. I was a little bit nervous there, so I did take that off track. Eighth place... 87%. Can still drive it pretty aggressive at 87%. I, I stay pretty aggressive until 80%. And then I start making very minor changes. So by the time I get to the next corner, I will be making some minor changes already? Maybe not. Well, we're right on that threshold, so I might take it a little bit easy. Hamilton, okay. Let's get around Hamilton nice and quick. That was the worst place to encounter him. Oh well. Just kind of at the center of the corner. I just, you know... It's just a hard place to encounter traffic. Anderson Bridge. Corner 13. Oh! I thought my tires were going to be way worse. I can still drive it pretty hard at this point. Okay, get a tow, get a tow, we're heading in nice and... Now I am, I'm gonna have to start driving a little bit more cautiously though. Boy, the most difficult thing about these street circuits is you clip a wall, and then slightly after you clip a wall, your car has a wiggle. If you're too close to a wall, it just feels like it sucks you in. It's not sucking you in. Your car's doing a little post wall wiggle. That wasn't bad. Okay, so... Now this is frustrating. I just don't like stages like this. I mean, I guess it's real life, but ugh. In real life, if I can't overtake, then I also can't get overtaken. So the guy behind me shouldn't be able to creep up on me and be such a problem. Unlike the 2024 Italian Grand Prix, where we had to drive crazy slow for a section of a lap, this is an entire lap. Now, 241 isn't that slow, but you don't want to hit 241. Yeah, um, because that's, you're just raised or close to, 
being disqualified then. So I found, um, I kept having ninth place catch up to me. And I mean, I wasn't pushing this too hard. I, you know, I could be pushing that a lot harder. It didn't feel like I had to push it very hard, but then he ends up getting pretty close to me sometimes. So, yeah, whatever. Nish can't do anything. It's just kind of an annoying lap. It's part of real racing, but usually in a situation like this, I mean, you don't have to worry about someone overtaking you. Because if you're, if you're told that it's a safety car lap, then that's it. Oh, well. We'll just drive this out and get on to the rest of this event. We're winding it down here pretty quick. You can see, I mean, he got pretty close to me sometimes here. 40 meters? And then 80, 100, I guess. Yeah. But then here he starts really gaining on me again. Norris is just driving me nuts. You also want to shove him. But the problem is if you shove someone too much, they, they just slow down. So you really don't want to be bumping a guy a bunch. It's just going to make it worse for you. There's the slipstream. Again, I'm not going to take this too aggressively. Don't want to do this again. Okay. That's the end of that. Now it should be getting a little more interesting. Climbing to the top five. 131 is the target lap time. That should not be a problem. Now this had me worried. We had a race at Marina Bay two or three years ago just like this where we were given fuel and there was an outlap and they did not calculate the outlap. So we did not have enough fuel to finish the event and meet the position requirement. It was just downright impossible. There was no way to do it. So the, uh, the old developers were really good at giving us free skips very quickly while they tried to fix the event in the background. So the odd person will watch my Marina Bay Grand Prix event for this particular year, which again, I forget it, and they'll say, well, how come I don't get a free skip? That's because they fixed it. That's one thing the new developers need to work on. I, I've been frustrated by that, where there's, an, there's a stage that's impossible, and they just leave it for days. And I, I, and I say to them, like, like, come on, give people a free skip. Like, they're, they're going to get stuck here. Like, people sometimes don't have two or three days where they can even play the game. So if that situation arises, you really don't have much of a choice but to buy a skip and then submit a ticket requesting your gold back. So I, I'm hoping that uh, like at first these guys wouldn't issue a free skip no matter what. Now they've started to do that a bit. So hopefully we start to see more of that. Oh, that was really good. I did that very well. Now, if you were watching, my, my fuel, I believe I had like 7.5, something like that, when I started lap two, lap one, sorry, which means um, 3.75 units per lap. And I've got quite a lot left, and I've been driving aggressive. So as you can see, fuel is not an issue. Like, let's just see this here. Oh, off track over four units 4.4 units way more than enough fuel you have nothing to worry about drive as aggressively as you want to you can see i'm driving aggressive oh little tag and you see the little, little wiggle it's like it feels like it's a whole second later oh nuts horrible spot to hit him you know what i'm uh, just a little annoyed that was really bad sportsmanship on my part definitely not allowed to do that but i'm just a little annoyed at some of these guys it's my fault but anyway, letting off some steam, I guess. So yeah, no, no fuel concerns here at all. You can drive as aggressive as you want to. It might have been more a concern if you had lower upgrades, but you really can't have very low upgrades at this point because the PR requirement has climbed. It's might be it's probably not at its maximum yet. I have not been paying attention, but it'd be really close. Oh, that was another horrible place to be catching someone. But for Stappen, you and I, we're gonna settle this. Woo! Oh, don't don't look behind you when you're in this technical section. That's a bad idea. Am I gonna have a whole unit of fuel left over? 
Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That car really came around on me. I mean, I did that on purpose. I just didn't expect it to turn that much. Okay, so we're at full PR now. So I'm matching the PR. Now, regardless of which car you choose, you'll be, you'll, you need the same upgrades. They'll, they'll just adjust the PR for you. So you don't have to get more upgrades if you chose a, a lesser car. It's, it's the same cost no matter what. Okay, I, I need to win. Because I like to win. Winning's nice and winning's fun. Come on, baby, let's get this done. Oh, yeah. You can see I'm driving aggressive. I'm driving very aggressive. I want to be in eighth place by the time I start this next lap. And I'm going to do it, baby. And that time I didn't go off track. You can tell I took that just right. I hugged the curb a bit there. Oh, I went off track there, though. That was definitely not to my advantage. That hurt. You could see that. You could see that. I drove it in too deep. I lost all sorts of time on that. Hamilton. Ooh, that's a risky thing to do. But I did it. Oh, I've still got another lap to go after this. I should be able to win this race. Come on, man. Let's get it done. Countering you. Not a great spot. Oh, perfect. Come on. Let's go. You see how I'm taking that better? I'm starting that turn a little bit earlier. Want to get on that curb, that inside curb. Ooh, that was pretty fast. That, I took that a little bit sloppy, Norris. I want to be on your inside. Oh, I had to overbreak it because of that encountering him where I did. This is looking good. I mean, I've got a, over a full lap to go and I'm in fourth. So this is looking good. That was pretty good. Pretty happy with that. This section here, if you break early enough, not, it's pretty fine because you want. I'd like. It's like. It's nice to stay full throttle through that section. That I was over breaking. Oh, ah. oh, right. I've got to get in my 20 seconds. Come on, man. Uh, you're not driving like you really want to move far ahead here. I'm already getting ready. Come on. Slingshot around you. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Mm, it's not bad. Breaking early. Gas early. Oh, yeah. Oh, little wag. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got to control those wags. Okay. Second place. And I've got like at least two-thirds of a lap, I would say. I haven't been watching where the sector markers are. Oh, there we go. Right at the, right at the one-third spot. It started flashing. In case you don't know, your lap time will flash at one-third in the two-third mark. And then, of course, at the end of each lap flashes so that we do have the sector markers at the one-third two-thirds and then lap markers that's why it flashes like that so keep watching you'll know when i'm two-thirds of the way into a lap because it's going to flash again yeah it's got to be pretty soon you think yep there we go so then that will have changed because this back section is longer in this circuit is it not no, it has to be. It has to be, because there's extra corners. There's uh, four extra corners. So it's got to be longer. Yeah. Because it's basically it's basically like, like adding a big bus stop. It's almost what it's like. Okay, well that's... Oh, look at all the time I got left over. Piles of time. Time coming out of my ears. This is it, chimp. Of course it says champ, but whatever. I'm kind of surprised that the final race is really one lap that's surprising to me and we're starting near the end of a lap too very short out lap this is very different than what we've been seeing for most of this event i'm taking this very aggressive i'd really like to fit in a victory donut but full disclosure i lost this race like seven or eight times because i tried to get a victory donut in at the very very last corner and then i went flying off track so I'm not doing that again. Like I, I, I'm, I'm still going to try to do the donut, but I'm not going to risk losing this race again because I've wasted far too much time on it. Now I'm nicely. I mean, this is I'm nicely in third place here before even the uh, the first sector marker. Oh no, I guess that was the first sector marker. Wait, where was it? Didn't it just flash? I wasn't watching. The time's got me all messed up. Oh whatever. I'll be in the lead in no time. Now, 
If I grind him a bit, that would really help him to slow. There we go. It wasn't much of a grind. If you grind a guy a bit, he really slows. Ooh, he slows down a lot. In order to do a victory donut, I need a big lead. I did a victory donut at the Italian Grand Prix and it got very sketchy. I almost lost the race. I believe he overtook me after the start finish line. It was quite close. So, like a 300 meter lead is not much actually, especially at a really fast section of the track. Like this back section is fast. Yeah, I'm still gonna try, but again, guys, I might not get it. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, nope, too close, okay. Oh well, that's okay. Okay, very, very, very important message here. Make sure you choose the car you put the upgrades on. If not, they both end up getting locked. I'm gonna show you what I mean. This is my other account. I ran in the Red Bull and I chose the Ferrari as my prize. I can't use either of them. So choose the car you upgraded. I'm gonna to have to buy that Red Bull now, which kind of sucks. But okay, my mistake. I'll probably cover that in another video as well. Please like and subscribe. Check out some other stuff here. Lots of content on my channel, and uh, I'll see you out there on the track.